good morning friends and welcome to the pre market session uh, friends us markets and uh, european markets both were actually uh, listless and there was a marginal gain in us markets uh, towards the end initially the markets opened uh, down but there was some amount of recovery towards the end uh, as most of these markets are waiting for some kind of a clarity on the eu summit which is coming up though the expectations are extremely low as is reflected by the low uh, movement in the market even the volumes uh, in the global markets uh, for the past couple of days are on a lower side uh, also friends uh, spain uh, bond yields have actually shot up in the last couple of days to almost 6.7 6.8 percent in fact they had cooled off about a week back but now again we are seeing some kind of a uh, you know a spike up there which is not a good sign uh, when we look at uh, our own markets uh, uh, well friends there was not much of an action and we are seeing the market hovering between 5100 and 5200 uh, also if you look at the flows uh, the domestic institutions were sellers to the tune of 355 crore in the cash market uh, and the fis were uh, biased to the tune of only 13 crore so no major fi activity but the figure of uh, selling on the domestic side is definitely on a higher side uh, as we all know that the expiry is coming up on Thursday, so let's uh, talk to Shaival on the F and O Qs and uh, what his expectations are on the expiry. Hi, Shaival. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, we're seeing a very range-bound move for the market for quite a while, and it's just hovering between 51 and 5200. Uh, looking at the current open interest, uh, what's your sense of the expiry? See, from uh, what we have seen is that market has not been able to take off 5,200 on the higher side and 5,100 on the lower side. Market has been trading into this narrow range because of lots of uncertainties globally as well as domestically. So now what we have seen is that on the option matrix, 5,200 call option still stands with the highest number of shares in the open interest uh, as we have only one day left with the expiry. And on the put side also, there's some good amount of activity. Still, there's open interest being holding up so what we feel is that 5200 would act as a hurdle and we may see expiry somewhere near 5200 so it may be plus or minus 30 40 points right also share if you could uh, run us through the fi activity on the fno side uh, after a long time, there's a good activity been witnessed in the uh, in FIS in on the FIS front because what we have seen is that from past couple of trading session they were net buyers of say marginally 200 or 300 crore. But in yesterday's trade, what we have seen is that they were net buyer of around 1,500 crore, and in that the, they were net buyer in index future by around 800 crore plus, and uh, in index option they were. Uh, net buy by around 9,900 uh, crore plus. So that has been uh, indicating that they've been very cautious and they've been uh, seeing the market, they've been hedging their portfolio with maybe say index options or something else. Okay, any specific uh, ideas that you've shortlisted? Uh, we have identified three stocks from the intraday perspective. Uh, First of all, ACC is looking positive with support of 1206 rupees. Tata Power is also looking positive with support of 94 rupees. And Hero Motoko is looking positive with support of 2011. Also, in case of Tata Power, we have a fundamental news that the uh, Delhi Electricity Commission has actually hiked the uh, tariff by about 24% for the retail consumers and about 20% for the commercial uh, users. So, uh, because on the derivative front also we were positive buyers, one could possibly look at buying a call option to also to play, to play the yeah one can look at also uh, one can also look at buying say at the money call option to cap capitalize the move which Tata Motor is expect uh, Tata Power is expecting. What we have also identified is we have identified uh, one can buy Tata Motor call option 250 strike from the expiry point of view. We have initiated that at two rupees thirty paisa with stop loss of one rupees fifty paisa on closing basis, and yesterday's closing is somewhat near one point seven zero. So if one gets an opportunity say nearby two two point three zero, one can buy call option from the expiry point of view with target of five and seven. Right, Shavu. Thanks a lot for the update. Thank you. Friends, in terms of news, uh, as we all know they, that Finance uh, Minister uh, Pranab Mukherjee has resigned and now the finance portfolio is going to be handled by the Prime Minister uh, Dr. Manmohan Singh. Uh, as we all know that uh, though he has been uh, you know, a reformist, uh, but this time around because of the policy inaction, the expectations are extremely low. So we'll have to wait and see over the next few days as to how uh, he uh, you know, takes his portfolio and what kind of announcements are we going to see from him. So market is keenly watching for some developments on that front. Also, friends, monsoon has been a laggard, as we all know that you know about uh, two to three weeks have passed. 
but the progress of the monsoon particularly the northwest region has been uh, very low and as per the med department uh, the deficiency is about 62 percent which was one of the key reasons why we saw some sell-off uh, in the fmcg stocks particularly hindustan lever and few others so progress of monsoon from here on is something very very cru uh, cru crucial from uh, the economy's point of view and from the market sentiment point of view in terms of specific uh, news uh, the Canadian pension fund is in talks to invest in SREI's uh, funds. So this is definitely a positive news for SREI infra uh, particularly. And uh, NHPC's uh, Prabhati Hydro project which was uh, actually stalled for last about 8 months because of some dispute with contractors has again started work and it's, it's li likely to start in the next 6 to 8 months. So this could have a positive sentimental effect for NHPC. Uh, that's it uh, from all of us. I have already touched upon uh, uh, the news that uh, the uh, Delhi, uh, in Delhi we have seen a 24% hike in the electricity tariff uh, for the retail customers, 20% for the commercial. So this would have a positive implications for Tata Power and Reliance Energy. So these two stocks could see uh, good action in the morning trades. Uh, that's it from all of us friends. See you tomorrow at the same time.